Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show how to add extra tools that you can use with the PC Raster Tools plugin. These tools are stored in the so-called QGIS resource sharing repository. So let's first uh, install the PC Raster Tools plugin. Note that you also need to install PC Raster before installing this plugin, which is mentioned in the documentation. You can find it by going here to the home page. After installing the PC Raster Tools plugin, I'm going to install the resource sharing plugin. So the resource sharing plugin can connect to repositories with scripts, models, styles, and many other things of QGIS. And after installing this plugin, you find this little green button in the toolbar. And here you can add uh, repositories. There are already a few repositories uh, available by default, but we are going to add a custom repository. I call it PC Raster. And then you can add the link to the PC Raster uh, repository. The link will also be provided in the comments of this video. And paste it here and add .git. Click OK and the repository is added not installed any collections so that's empty. If I go here to all collections I can install the collection. So there's a model connect collection, a script collection and a user script collection. Don't use the script collection because that has been replaced with the PC Raster Tools plugin. Only use the model collection. In this case it adds four models and the user script collection which are scripts made by users and I hope you will also add some if you develop your nice new scripts. Let's first add some data to uh, test these scripts that I've added and I'm going to add the flow direction map in PC raster format created with LDD create and the channels layer also in PC raster format. There are other videos explaining how to derive this with the PC raster tools. I'm now going to style the channels and here we see our channel network. I'm going to test these tools to derive subcatchments of uh, locations that I select here. So I'm going to create in Notepad a comma separated values file uh, with coordinates of outlets for which I want to create subcatchments. So simply copy the coordinate by clicking right on a pixel in the channel and add it to the list and give it a unique ID. These unique IDs will in the end be used as an attribute for the uh, subcatchments. So I've got four of these now. Let's save the file, call it outlets, and then I can uh, convert this to the PC raster format, go to data management, and choose column file to PC raster map. This uh, converts a CSV file to raster. So I choose outlet.text, choose as a mask the flow direction so it will have the same extent and pixel size and projection. And I choose nominal as the data type and I save this to outlets.map. Now we have our layer with outlets. Now let's uh, go to our uh, scripts and the PC Raster user scripts, and there, there is this tool calculate subcatchments from outlets, and it will be vector in the end. So it needs the flow direction, we have that. It needs our outlets that we've just created, define the output projection, and you can then uh, save the result to a file. Let's just do a shapefile here. Call it subcatchments, run it, and you'll see here how many uh, points it detected and uh, it processes them. So we have four subcatchments here. If I zoom to the layer, if I open the attribute table, you can see here the four features. On purpose, I selected features that uh, also overlap. Um, the entire features are here in the shapefile, but uh, the overlaps make them uh, not completely visible. So you can use another tool after running this tool, 
you find under vector data management tools. It's called split vector layer. And you can split uh, features from a vector layer based on, uh, on an attribute. And here we use the catchment ID. So now it created a vector file for each of these uh, four catchments. And now you can see that they indeed overlap. That's of course logical if you uh, have um, an outlet that is downstream of an other outlet, then the subcatchment will overlap the one upstream. Now there's another tool, calculate subcatchments from stream order. You can use this if you have not defined the outlets, but you want to derive them automatically uh, based on the junctions that uh, are found in the layer. So it just needs the flow direction and a minimum stream order uh, threshold. But here we put it at five and you can see that it has around uh, 7,000 <laughs> subcatchments. So I just cancel this. And if you increase this number, then it will only have larger subcatchments uh, starting from Strala order eight. And here we see that it has uh, around uh, 56 of the subcatchments, which is now processing. And then the result is a vector layer with all these uh, subcatchments. And then in the same way, you can uh, split them to separate vector files. It also outputs the junctions and the rivers. So you see here under the PC Raster user scripts, a lot of other uh, tools that might be useful, like uh, burning the DEM or calculating the height above the drainage. As said, there are also models uh, shared. So there's one here, subcatchments, and uh, you can run it. It does a very similar uh, thing. Uh, but the nice thing is you can also see how the model has been created and learn and modify. So I hope uh, this was useful for you and you learned how to add these extra tools to QGIS. But also you can submit these kind of tools to the repository by doing a pull request and uh, then I will add them to the repository so many people can use your tools. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, looking forward to see you again.